Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Single Player Gamers page. And in today's video, I got a brand new video game for you all. Yes, that's right. I'm on that Pal Worlds hype. Pal Worlds is a video game made by a small indie dev team, all right? Pocket Pair in Japan, all right? And yeah, I just jumped on the hype. Why? Because I said it's just like Pokemon. It's not really just like Pokemon. It is a lot more in depth in my opinion, and it's much more deep than Pokemon. All right, in my opinion. All right. If that sounds interesting to you, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. This is the first gameplay that I'm posting on my live stream. I mean, on my chat. I'm, excuse me, on my YouTube channel. All right, I am live right now on the Purple app. That's why I said live, but that's besides the point. In today's video, I'm showing you guys exactly what I'm doing. I'm just chilling, all right? And this is my character. His name is Homer Deposit. He was dropped off uh, by retail. It, I mean, by a customer. He used to work retail, but now he's out here in Power Worlds, all right? Just exploring the land, and this is his... Um, equivalent to a shiny Pokemon if you guys don't know what a shiny Pokemon is it's a rare Pokemon but this is a lucky we don't have shinies in Pal World we have luckies all right just my lucky uh, pal right here I'm gonna bring him back to the ball like this this game I bought for 25 bucks this early access now it's $29.99 um, on Steam it's also on Xbox this is a this is an exclusive it's not really as big as people make it seem a lot of people downloaded it and they're waiting for more content they are doing bug updates Alright, so, what am I doing here in Power Worlds right now? Right now, we're at a settlement. What is a settlement? I don't know. We're about to check it out. Uh, let's talk to this guy. Well, first, before we do that, I have to upgrade my guy. I have unused stats. So, let's see what we're going to do here. We're going to do, hmm, I need more health because I keep dying. So we're level 25 now. I think that means, hopefully that means I can make another base. Because I'm going to make a new base in a different area. But I have to reach a certain level in order to do that. I hope it's level 25. And so this is a settlement here. I'm usually scared to go to settlements because I don't want to instantly die. I die a lot in this game. Like I said, I have um, low health in this game. I'm level 25. I spent too many points on my attack. Alright, and I like to post video games on my YouTube channel just in case anybody want to tune in with me, watch when they're bored, watch when they're, you know, want to hear me, single player gamer, because you know I play a lot of different video games on this channel. And also, um, if anyone ever would enjoy me, this is a multiplayer game. Y'all can join me whenever you want, alright? If you want me to stream on YouTube, let me know in the comment section. Ever explored a, ever explored a cave? I've heard that caves are home to loads of unique pals. What's more, there are even treasure troves created by pals with a knack of collecting stuff. Give me a shout if you spot any caves, won't you? Mm, I suppose so. You know what? I think I freaking will hit you up. Alright. I don't know why, but alright, let's check out this sleeping girl. What does she want? Hopefully she don't want the smoke. Welcome. Haven't seen your face before. Well, no, I can't see your face either, lady. Did you come from f from far away? Must have been a long journey. Take your time and rest up. Oh, they're nice here. First time I passed this place, I definitely didn't stop and talk because I was scared that they were all going to kill me. Because I just saw, I think it was the soldiers at, ooh, there goes one of the caves he was talking about. Maybe I should go in there. Maybe, maybe not. This is a merchant in here. Um, we can check out his goods. Welcome, I've got some good items in stock. I was just sitting here and I picked up this long-eared headband schematic. I want to see exactly how to work it. I made a good workbench at the base. I'm going to show you guys my base in this video. That's where we're going instead of the cave, all right? I'm going to head back to the base. You have to see what I've been working on for the last 50 days, damn near, in Pal Worlds. Um, I think these are clothes I can wear, which is cool. Dang, they want 120 gold coins. You know what, dude? I'm pretty sure I shouldn't have bought that schematic from you. Alright, see? So right here is someone who is wearing armor. So we got enthusiastic amateur researcher and a village chief. I wonder, can I? Oh my goodness. I didn't know I could talk to multiple people in this game. I really didn't know. I didn't know all these people had text. 
enthusiastic amateur researcher ever bumped into an extraordinary strong and big pal? Just my speculation, but it seems to be some kind of leader who controls the pals around. If you could make it your ally, it would sure be handy. But it's super powerful, so be careful. Alright, thanks a lot for letting me know how to play this game. Halo hmm. Village Chief, level 5. Week. Have you ever been attacked by an enemy called a lost pal? If you have, try asking the pal merchant about it. They often find lost pals. If your pal is on the market, you might be able to buy it back. The Ryan Potion Group is selling pals they've poached and stolen from to merchants. Really, what a horrible people they are. I just wish someone could take down their boss. Oh, well, I got you. I already beat the boss, actually. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, hey, ha ha. Exactly, I did. I already beat mm. the boss. I wonder, can I talk to this guy? Yep. So he's level 30. Rebel PIDF officer. Hey, pal tamer. There's hardly anyone around here now, but before the rain syndicate came, many more people lived here. Because of them, my income has really taken a hit, you know. If you're in trouble, let me know. As long as you pay, I'll do anything. Alright. I don't know how I'm supposed <laughs> to pay him to do this. I'm sure if I threw one of these not pokeballs at him, he would immediately, like, kill me. But this is a random settlement in Power Worlds. I didn't know that this game had settlements. If any of you were interested in Power Worlds, I highly recommend it. Because it's super duper chill. Um, a lot of you guys probably watch my No Man's Sky videos a lot. And uh, yeah, if you like open world games, this is definitely an extremely open world game. Alright, so let me just make sure I checked every building. So you can climb on here. haven't had as many issues as I have. As I did with No Man's Sky, like no hard crashing on updates. Like everything's already in this game that I wish No Man's Sky had, like straight up. Like we ain't even got to compare Power Worlds to Pokemon, alright. Um, if any of you guys are my Splinterlands viewers, just know this is not a crypto game. To all my viewers, this is not a crypto game. And I appreciate you all for understanding that I am a variety girl. I am an American girl. You know I like variety. And I know all you guys probably do too. Oh shoot. Oh no, I guess this is a big wall. Huh. There we go. I just want to check everything. This this looks like the last of us. Oh yeah, I know I gotta check everything because I'm looking for that loot. Yeah. Looking for that easy loot. There's a watchtower over here, so they definitely do not they definitely also have settlements that are not as nice. I'll tell you that. Alright, so yeah, in this game you can have bows and arrows and keys and eggs. What I'm about to do is we're about to go back to our base and I'm about to see what this um, work, the high quality workbench will do for us. Yeah. So unlike it in my sky when I used to play the game, Mary back in, shoot, who cares? Back in the day, I couldn't even fly. So this is an early access game and I'm flying around now. I know technology has advanced. That's what I'm telling myself. Technology has advanced so much. Oh, here goes some syndicate thugs right there. Technology has advanced so much, advanced so much to where I can watch these AI kill each other. But first, you have to pick that up because we got a castaway thing. And you know what? You know we're gonna throw ourselves in the mix there. My lucky. Come over here. Kill him. Kill him! Oh shit. Now we do not need that marmoset smoke. No, 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 no. Don't you hit that big, big, big thing. Don't hit that big, big thing. Alright, come on, man. Come, come on back to that. Come back to homie. Good job, Homer. Alright. Great job, homie. Let's go, homie. Let's go, homie. Alrighty. He did not hit the marmoset. Just like that. We gonna get right back at it. Come on. Oh. Let's go. Back to the base we go. This is quite interesting. That's another reason why I really like this game. I really like this game because it's quite interesting. Like around every corner, there's always something interesting. Now I know that those are level five, but that's just because I'm scary AF and I 
Like we got a Relaxosaurus over there. So everybody want to call this game Pokemon and saying that it's copying. Because this is very in-depth, bro. I, th I don't even think this is my base. I'm going the absolutely wrong way, everyone. This is the Rain Syndicate Tower. I'm not going no close. My base is uh, that away, actually. I'm going further from my base. Yeah, I bet you I could probably go back up in here again. Let's see if um, any of these guys want some of this smoke. And these bird, this bird can attack. He ran away. I'm really bad at that move, but there's other moves. See, like I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty bad at aiming. Try this again. Oh, shoot. You know what? Let's, just, let's, just, let's get down. Let's get down. I'll switch out. Yeah. Oh, baby. Oh, save the save that thing. So right now we're saving creatures. I really don't like to waste my ammo. I really like to just watch them battle each other. I like to watch my pals do that whole We got the wild pals fighting the humans as well. Take them out. Good job, you did it. Killed all the syndicates. And we get to rescue a brand new pal. Yeah, perfect for the video. New pal capture. Bam, new pal capture. Arsux. Let's go, what does Arsux do? Let's go to the pal deck, let's see if we can find Arsux. These are all the pals that I've captured, captured thus far. Here goes R6. R6. In ancient, in ancient times, carnivorous pals pursued them re relentlessly. The absurd fury and the cries of R6 transformed into a raging inferno, which has been passed on to the, to this day. All right. Good job. Good job, homie. Got a brand new capture. Not going the wrong way. You guys got to see a taste of some of this action that's in this game. Huh. Huh. So this is a game with character customization that you can make yourself, and I definitely drew Homer to look so fly. Uh, pun intended, because we are on a Nightwing. My goal in Power Worlds is to get a lucky deck. Complete lucky power deck. That'd be freaking dope. You know what I mean? I think that'd be pretty dope. Is that my base? Where's my base at? This is my base. Oh, I could definitely just teleport. I forgot. Duh! We're by Syndicate Tower, duh! So, at my base, I got all my pals working for me so diligently, so helpfully. And they're gonna help pull me out so we can become the very best that there ever was. And we're gonna go here to the base in order to complete that. Make sure we accomplish all oh, this is it. Fast loading. I realize I haven't played video games in a long time, but it's this great. It's hard to kind of think that these great games exist. So this is my brand new workbench. Oh, so my pals woke up and they built the workbench for me. Let's go ahead and acquire that. Cold resistant um Pelt armor because the next boss that I will be fighting is going to be a freaking doozy. Well, it's going to be on top of a cold mountain. Anyways, nonetheless, we're going to need this. So, where's the armor at? Oh no, he's hungry. Homer's hungry. I will feed him these raspberries. These berries. I like to think they're raspberries. Raspberries. Everybody's getting raspberries. We raspberry rich. We raspberry ballin'. Thank you for the cold resistant item. Alright, oh, we can make a heat resistant one too. Let's go ahead and make that. Because it's just stronger than the old one. The one I'm wearing right now is a tundra outfit. And I think the ice, the one that we just made, I think that was good for 
weather resistance. And right now, as you can see, my Pin King Pal is helping me out. I would definitely recommend this game. This is so cute. I mean, cuteness level is at a 10. It's literally at a walkable 11. Cuteness in this game is like superior to, I don't know, The Sims? And like, the only thing that's this cute is uh, The Sims 3. And the stuff that I've played, nothing is that cute. Oh, perfect timing. Our large frozen eggs that I forgot we even had are ready to hatch. Now in this game, you can change a whole bunch of settings. If you don't want to wait for your eggs to incubate, you don't have to wait. You just gotta press forward. I mean, you just gotta change the settings and don't do it. In my gameplay, I like to have all the default settings besides, you know, field of view and stuff. I might tr do triple the spawn rates, but ooh, we got a brand new pal, Vimrim Christ. I think that's what it says. All right, the melodies of a flute made. Never mind. Let's go ahead and read about this brand new pal. Yeah. Where are we at? Here we go. Ben, Ben, Christ, I think. The melodies of a flute made from the exoskeleton of a Van Rim Christ are said to cross whole mountain ranges. Ooh, in ages past, such flutes were used to signal victory in battle. Ooh, fancy. Well, it looks great, and I love it. All right, do I have any more frozen eggs? I don't know. I'm only putting frozen eggs in here until I figure out exactly what I'm doing. All right, so we're gonna incubate a whole nother huge egg. Let's take it out. So we've got the huge egg, we've got large eggs, which is middle, and then we've got huge eggs, which is the one that we want. Oh shoot, I didn't even see what we got. We got a crawling eggs. All right, nice, we got a crawling eggs. Brand new, another brand new pal. Let's see, and this one, crawling eggs. Here we go. Ooh, this one looks clean. This one looks clean. It can easily climb steep mountains with its hard claws. Cool. However, its short legs make it difficult to descend, often leaving it stranded in high places. That's hilarious. Sounds kind of stupid to me. All right. So I have 34 technology points we're going to have to look at later. All right. Cool. Cool. If I look at them things now, we'll definitely get distracted. Let's pick up this. Ooh, now I'm over encumbered so let's see do i have any moves no well we got chicken i don't need this wood right now i need to see if we got any eggs any frozen eggs i'll put my electric organs here i'm not sure what to do with them for that blueprint that i bought here um, I've got two of these pelt armors I'll put here. I'll definitely put this one away since we don't need this right now. And this one too. I may not even need this tundra outfit anymore. Mmm, we got an egg. In this game, you can cook. You can cook till your heart is content in this game. And that's what Homer's about to do. Cook up some eggs. But to help homie cook some eggs, we're going to use not that. Yeah. Foxy motherfucking brown in the building. Alright, we're gonna get Foxy's help here to help us cook these eggs and everything else. I don't know exactly what benefits the the, the various foods give. To Homer or his pals, but uh, we don't need to bake this stuff because why we have so many, so many, so many berries. Same thing, I just get a little chickabee. Oh, yeah, a little chickabee farm. I forgot we got more ignots. I'm not too sure how to pronounce that word. Let's put these over here. Do I have any bones? No fiber, no ammo. Oh, yeah. Got a little bit of ammo here. Some of the loot we've done picked up. Let's put my medicine up. Don't need that. We got these eggs. I'll put these eggs away. I like to keep all my eggs in one basket. I keep that basket upstairs. Here goes my egg basket. 
Boop, boop, boop. Ooh, we got a huge damp egg. That's a good one. I keep, keep all my huge eggs. Let's take this, put this here. There we go. All my damp eggs. I mean, all my eggs are out. We don't need to hold this shell, I don't think. Right, yeah, because I got one here. I need to repair that. So right now all my pals are sleeping. I'm about to go hunting. We need more flame organs. This is just a random fox park. So I decided to sleep underwater. I'm actually saving this life the ground. But I mean, it kind of just drowned in that big, huge, gigantic hit. That was a fire hit. I mean, a water hit. That was just kind of fire to me, which just happened. Thank you so much, Foxy. I was kind of overboard, Foxy. At nighttime, I love to get a bird's eye view. Oh! Uh -huh. Love to get a bird's eye view. Let's see what we're working with. Right now I'm hunting flame organs and at night it's much easier to see if there's any creatures. I mean any fox parks around this around this town. And the night goes by so fast in this game. So in these quick days of the Palpagoose Islands I make sure I get out when I need to to look for what I need to look for. So I can try to hoard it up. Now there may be an easier way to get these pal organs, but I've yet to find it. And I already got those, um, I got those skill, skill sets already off of there. I can listen to the nature sounds as I do this. I can listen to the quiet nature. The quiet sounds of this game. We got an effigy over there. We got a a, um, a castle right here. Ooh, what a sleeping uh ooh a sleeping weak a word nightwing. All right, let's we're going hunting as well. Every every freaking time we leave the house, we hunt for some damn pal. Need to press the right button, and that is dismount. And uh, I'm gonna need you to wake him up, but I don't need you to kill him. Please don't kill him. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Don't kill him now. Don't kill him. Where'd he go? Oh, jeez, Louise, you killed him. I didn't know you were going to do it in three hits. Ugh, I don't want to ride you. Here, you're you're going to go back in your non-Pokeball, all right? We're going to get Nightwing. And Nightwing, come on, pick, pick Papa. Papa needs to pick me up. This is a castle. I've explored here already on my live streams on the other platform. Which I've talked to you about. I like to stream over there 8 p.m. PST a majority of the times. You guys know me. I don't be sticking to a schedule sometimes when it comes to this online social media stuff. I'll be tired, bruh. I'm sure a lot of you hard workers can understand. So instead, I mean, but I do be streaming at 8 p.m. PST. 8 to 10 p.m. PST. Well, 8 to 11 is what I'm going for. Ooh, another chest. I love that you can ride and ride these pals in this game. You didn't have to wait. This has been in here since day one. It was riding pals day one in this game. I was like, whoa, what, what kind of a, what kind of video game company has all this content out here? It's not DLC. Like, there's no microtransactions. It's only 25 bucks, and it feels like a darn dang. Jeez Louise, it feels like a flipping and flopping and complete game if I have ever played one. All right. 
straight up. I'm like, who, who made this? Oh, well, of course it's a Japanese company. Those those Japanese game developers, a lot of them really do care for the uh, game. <coughs> That's my experience. A full, complete game? <coughs> Oops. Press the wrong button. And like, um... This game only crashed on me one time just because I didn't update it first. Before I started to play it. And I played it for a solid, uh... I don't even know. I played it for a while. Well, and just like that, I got lost. Looking for that. Um, that was a teleport. But now it's not dark, so... Well, let's head back. Our hunting is done for the night. I know there's a... Red teleporter thing. But we'll have to go here for now. Oh, let's get this effigy. Effigy? Effigy? I don't know. Let's see. Let me know in the comment section if you know how to pronounce this in the chat. Effigy? Lift monk effigy? Got a whole bunch of cute pals just walking around, palling it up, palling it out all night. It's pretty cool. I wonder why the, this lift monk is important to the game. The lift monk effigy and stuff. All right, there we go. Back to the base we go. Let's see if I can. Let's see how um, Homer looks at his new fit. He wears a cold resistant pelt armor which is what we just built earlier. A pelt armor produced in cold regions can withstand freezing cold temperatures. Ooh. A pelt armor produced in hot regions can withstand some heat. Ooh. Let's see how he looks. Ooh, purple. All right, what about this one? Ooh, red. Let's definitely do purple. not that cold, but you look much more fresher. Alright, so we go to item management. I'm going to prepare our feather-haired band so we can get some um, better defense. Select. Hmm. We can make a crossbow snap. This can be used to fire arrows effortlessly. <clears throat> and its power more than makes up for its slow reload. Hmm. Well, just because I don't have one ever built. Let's go ahead. Look at all that stone. 3,000 stone. Let's go. Start production. Where are they at? Oh, no. How come none of them can help me with this crossbow? I moved my workbench down here just for them. And they can't help me with this crossbow. I wonder why. Hey, King, that you're coming over here just to laugh at me. Does your AI brain not comprehend what the fuck is happening? I need you to help me. I don't want to sit here and do this. I'm glad you can help me. I never had a Charmander or a Blastoids. I guess I don't know if you're more equivalent to a Blastoids. I never had a turtle, but. You're big. You look like a Blastoids to me. This isn't Pokemon. You're not a Pokemon. You're a Pain King. Regardless, I thought you'd be over here helping me, Pain King, but here we are halfway done with this crossbow. And I'm just talking to the microphone, watching Homer do what he needs to do on this, like a freaking mime. You feel me? He, he has no solid surface underneath him. But he's still hammering it away, and that's what I appreciate, him, appreciate about him. He has that dedication. And he has a brand new, fresh looking outfit. If there were, if there were any ladies here, they'd be all over him. Instantly. Constantly. You know what I mean? He's totally hot. Let's go, homie. Get it done, homie. He, you know, he's so hot, so he cooled himself off with his pelt. Alright, with his brand new fresh pelt. You feel me? Let's go, boy. Got it done. Got a crossbow. 
Need to cross below, just use arrows. Now we have a whole bunch of technology that we can do, we can use. So let's see, we can make a sign for what it can be written on. That's for decorations, I got a lot of decorations. Got that lift monk effigy, we a lift monk machine gun, house plant set for when I make a nice pretty house. I can write the sweep up, meat clover, monitoring stand, viewing cage, container for observing captured pals. Pals also I cannot participate in battle or production, but they do not become hungry. Oh, so I can just build this and I can look at my pals. That's freaking cool. So, Pingalit, mm, toolbox, cement, ancient cabinet storage, nice. Flame, cauldron, musket, gunpowder. Oh, let's go ahead and get these weapons. Stun baton, oh my gosh, perfect. What the heck? Mm, antique desk. We got some nice um, stuff, water fountain. Antique bath set. What? Fluffy pal bed. Oh, yes. Let's get handgun. I need more weapons. Heat resistant metal armor. Yes. There we go. Silo, flower bed, piano, grenade launcher. For my Mosan Deluxe. Oh my gosh. I have the five technology points. We have five technology points. Where did I get those technology points? I have no idea, but I've been wanting. Homer has been needing these darn technology points for one thing. Homie needs this. Small feedback. No. Unlocks the food slotting in inventory. Players and pals automatically consume food when hungry. Oh, okay. That's cool. That's definitely a quali quality of life improvement. Grappling gun. It fires a hook that latches on the to distant targets, pulling the user's body towards the target. It allows for easy movement between places with varying elevation. Nice, but this is what I really need, a PAL essence condenser. Combine several PALs of the same type to create a higher ranked version. This is freaking exactly what we need. Yes, we got three ancient technologies left. Hmm, this is, this is pretty much what we needed. It's because now I can make yeah. my motherfucking foxy motherfucking brown stronger. Because I can combine pals into them. So look, this is a regular fox box. Oh. And that's my lucky. It's a bigger one and it has a really nice... Uh, really nice born with a very nice move 150 hydro laser and it's lucky and that's my little lucky hunter homer in the building and this is a lucky hunter homer's very first episode of power world nearing our first 50 days in the power world hope you guys hang out with me sometimes on our live streams and uh, make sure you tune into the next video i appreciate you all for tuning into this uh, live um, this pre-recording <laughs> for you all you know you know I can't forget about my YouTube followers y'all know it's been a minute but I'm still a gamer I'm still a gamer girl appreciate y'all for watching make sure you tune into the next live the next video whatever it is hope y'all all have a great day peace out see you in the next one